Hi everybody, it's Nina here on Baby Chick and I'm the Baby Chick. If you guys, we if we haven't met, I wanted to say hi. We haven't been on Facebook in a while. I actually was on vacation with my husband's family this past week and just got back to the office yesterday and now trying to catch up with everything and I just wanted to do a video because I was uh, a little bit inspired while I was on vacation and I thought you guys might be maybe feeling the same things too if you're pregnant. Um, if you guys are new watching, I am currently expecting and we're really excited about that. I am nine and a half weeks pregnant and you know, things are really setting in and slowing down a little bit <laughs> when you're pregnant. You realize, I think that even when you think, okay, I even though I'm pregnant, I can still continue doing all the things that I used to be and be on top of everything like I once was. And I think that reality has completely slapped me in the face. <laughs> and I don't know about you guys. I would definitely love to hear your thoughts on all of this and your experience, but as soon as I even hit my first trimester, it really made me slow down a lot. I was so tired, really fatigued. I started having a little bit of pregnancy insomnia and having to go to the bathroom already in the middle of the night. and. It just made you have to slow down a little bit. And so I think that's, I learned like five different things this weekend while I, or this past week while I was on vacation. And a big part of it is being an advocate for yourself. I think that a lot of us have a hard time speaking up for ourselves, especially me. I mean, I'm a doula. I'm supposed to take care of others. That's just who I am. That's my personality. I love helping other people and taking care of other people. and. I thought, oh, hi, Ashley, thanks for joining. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I have now had to really slow things down and realize that it's okay to slow down. I currently own and operate two businesses on top of, you know, making a baby. And that takes a whole lot out of you. Even if, you know, you have one job or are just, you know, blogging or whatever it is that you do. It's pregnancy. It really kind of takes over and I didn't realize how much it would really require me to kind of slow down. And I'm now learning that I have to speak up for myself. So, so yeah, I, I have to remember, and I hope you guys all remember too, that, you know, being pregnant, you're growing a human. You, it's okay to slow down. It's, you have to tell yourself that you know you're growing an eyeball you're growing a foot you're growing another heart and a brain and all of that and so it takes a lot of effort and i know that at work we don't have the the luxury of being able to take naps when we want to maybe during like your lunch break you can sneak into your car and take a little bit of a nap that's something that i would do um but but yeah i uh, it's okay to slow down and and tell people no, that's the other thing, the number, the second thing that I learned is that you have to really learn how to set your boundaries, which I'm really bad at, and you have to learn how to say no. Casey, amen, sister. I hear you, girl. Thank you. Thank you for joining. And Nikki, hi. Thanks for joining, guys. Setting boundaries and saying no is something that I think all of us can learn, even when you're not pregnant. And that's something that I am currently working on as well, but we really do have to set our boundaries. We can't always make it to those, you know, before we were maybe going to happy hours or volunteering or saying yes to everything. That's at least how I was. I was always saying yes, wanting to help out, but now, again, back to my number one point, you need to slow down. It's okay to slow down, Joanna. Yes to boundaries, absolutely. And knowing what those boundaries are and sticking to them. And I think before when I would say like, okay, this is a boundary, I'm not gonna be doing any more than what I've agreed to at this point. And if people make you feel bad or make you feel like you're not doing enough or holding your end of the bargain, you know, I, before for me, I would be like, gosh, I'm being really selfish. I need to, you know, do more and, and give more if I can. But now I can you <laughs> tell yourself you're blaming it on your baby. <laughs> Say, but you know what? I'm taking this time to really 
focus on my child and to be healthy and to focus on me and my pregnancy to have the happiest and healthiest baby and to have a happy healthy baby it also requires a happy healthy mama and so to set those boundaries I when I was on vacation I didn't realize that, oh gosh, I shouldn't be outside all day. We went to uh, Pensacola Beach and it was so beautiful and so fun. And the first day I spent a good amount of time outside and I realized that my body can't handle being in the heat as long as I used to. I think one of my girlfriends, Chrissy, would tell the same thing. She went to a bachelorette party um, in uh, Alabama and we were all on the beach and she thought she could just lay out like she used to and she got burnt like a like to a crisp um from head to toe and you really have to kind of she said i didn't realize my body is so much more sensitive and requires a lot more of me to just slow down and say no to things i need to go back inside i need to you know take care of me um, walking as much as i was and doing all of the things i was getting really tired and Normally I would help out a lot more, but I think I had to realize that it's okay to say no. Um, and again, if anyone makes you feel bad for saying no and setting your boundaries and, you know, the people who matter shouldn't mind and the people who mind really don't matter. So that's a big thing on being your own advocate and saying it's okay for me to be able to stand up for myself because I'm also standing up for my baby and my baby doesn't have a voice right now and so I'm sticking up for myself and I need to be able to take care of myself and I know that I used to like for packing you know carrying luggage down to my car or taking it you know or bringing it up the stairs or doing whatever you know this is the other thing I learned the third thing ask for help already I, I know that I, that's one of my big points that I tell people um, after they have a baby is it's okay to ask for help it doesn't make you a bad mom it doesn't mean that you can't do it all because you are you're you're taking care of you and baby but you shouldn't have to do it alone you shouldn't have to have that responsibility it's just it's just way too much so even during pregnancy it's okay ask for help say you know what this is too heavy, can you help me with this? Or, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted, can you help me with this assignment? Or, you know, I'm sure you're gonna help them down the road um, with, with something that they need help with. But again, during this time, be your advocate, speak up, say things that are really gonna help you out. Um, I get a, a big thing that I'm trying to do right now is delegate more of the work that I've been doing to others. So then that way, I can remain sane a little bit because with pregnancy brain, as all of you who are pregnant out there know, that pregnancy brain is real. I'm forgetting half the things that I should be doing and, and yeah, being able to ask for help is totally okay. And people actually, again, the people who matter, they wanna help, they just don't know how. So really learn that it's okay to ask ask for help when you need it, whether it's at work, whether it's at home. Again, I, I learned that this weekend that I really needed to, you know, be able to ask for help when I needed it, even if I'm with family. Say like, hey guys, you know, can you help me with this? Or I, I really need to take a nap right now, I'm way too tired. Or um, you guys go and have fun with this, I just can't handle it anymore. My, I'm tuckered out. It's okay to, to stick up for yourself and, and say those things. So along with that, I, I think that another thing, as soon as people find out you're pregnant, they want to give you every piece of advice and every horror story, it sounds like, or it seems like, um, that of what they went through, of what you can expect. And something that I really recommend is trying to block out all of the negative talk. All of the people who are, you know, saying that you can't do something, um, or, or this is gonna happen to you, or this, this happened to me, or oh, watch out for this. I, I really feel that during pregnancy, you need to surround yourself with the positive people and the people that are only going to let you, or remind you of all the good things that are coming. And you know, 
I guess for me, I don't know about all of you guys, but I'm going to be doing the Hypno Babies class for my childbirth education because I've been to some incredible births where women used Hypno Babies and they were so at peace. It's just an extra tool, I think, to be able to use during your pregnancy to keep you calm and during your labor. It's pretty phenomenal. Um, so again, a lot of that is like being in your bubble of peace. And if anyone is saying negative stories about birth or pregnancy or after baby or all of this stuff, all of that can kind of get to you, even if you're not even aware of it. So right. Love the positive. Absolutely, Amy. Thank you so much. <laughs> and so, so yeah, I, I if, if people are around you that are being negative or telling you negative things or bad things that are going to happen or, oh, this and that about babies or, or pregnancy or whatnot, try and remove yourself from those people <laughs> or be like, okay, that's nice and, you know, change the subject or get off, get up and talk to somebody else because that, surrounding yourself with that type of environment and that type of energy, it really does affect your body and your baby and I believe your overall experience. So a big thing is all be, being positive. So anytime that I've been hearing negative stories about pregnancy or birth, luckily as a birth educator, I, I know to kind of block that off or I'm, you know, I'm a little quick and, and witty and usually be like, well, actually, <laughs> I've been to a bunch of births and I've helped hundreds of women and these are some other stats that I can share with you. So, but not everyone has those tools to be able to say, um, so just remove yourself from the negativity. It's going to make you so much happier and try and tell people, the people that you love, your friends and family, like that you just need the positive, you need the compliments you need. Cause right now, I don't know about you, but I feel like bloated and huge and not so cute <laughs> anymore. My clothes aren't fitting and you know, maybe you're breaking out, you have pregnancy acne, maybe, I don't know, you're tired, you have bags under your eyes. So anything that can keep positive and be positive towards, you know, the, the day that you meet your baby, that's the big thing. So block out the negative talk, okay guys? That's a big thing that I was like, all right, none of that, I'm not gonna listen to this anymore, I'm done. So um, yeah, and I already said let uh, other people help you, but the last thing that I really learned is that I need to listen to my own body. And that is something that I think all of us need to listen to. Elena said, yay, share the positive and use your bubble of peace. Absolutely, <laughs> bubble of peace. I totally agree with you, Elena. <laughs> so so yeah, listen, listen to your body. I think if you guys didn't read my first post of you know announcing our pregnancy, I knew the moment that I was pregnant. Like I just knew my body, I could feel my blood rushing, I could feel my temperature rising, I could feel, I, at the end of the day, I felt um, fatigued and tired and almost like I was gonna faint. I knew that I was pregnant and I really need to be able to listen to my body. And so when I was out on the beach, I should have listened to my body. It's like, gosh, I'm overheating, I'm, I'm dehydrated, I'm really tired, I know that I'm socializing with everyone, but you gotta listen to you and listen to your body and take care of yourself. Um, I'm always tired. This is my first pregnancy. Girl, I feel you. This is my first pregnancy too. And who it like takes every bit of energy out of you, doesn't it? <laughs> it does at least for me. And um, I'm barely keeping it all together, it feels like. But, but yeah, having help, asking for help, being positive, listen to your body. If you're tired, try and take that nap. Or maybe if you have weekend plans, you know, your friends will understand if you need to, you know, re reschedule or do something. Yes, tell me about it. <laughs> I hear you, girl. So, so yeah, I, it's, listen to your body. That's the biggest thing that I really learned is that um, I've been pushing myself way too much and my body has been telling me signals and sending me signs that, hey, you're, you're doing too much, girl. You really have to slow down. And this isn't just about you anymore. It's, it's about your baby. And so, you know, when you start getting overwhelmed and overworked and tired, you know, all that cortisol, uh, that's going to your child and it's affecting your child. So you really need to 
be positive, take that time for yourself, be selfish and, and take that rest and just being your advocate. Amy said, have three kids every pregnancy. I was so tired, rested a lot. Good for you, good for you, Amy. And I think that um, more women need to feel like it's okay that they can uh, get that rest that they desperately need. So Annie said, I couldn't tell, but my ovulation thermometer told me I was ovulating when I knew I couldn't be. I ran a race and my face stayed red hours later. Oh, girl. <laughs> so yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Listen to your body. It can be, it, it'll tell you things. Um, so anyway, if you missed the first tips that I said, I said, when you're being your own advocate, you really need to listen to your body one because you probably have to slow down which is number two slow down and set your boundaries and learn how to say no because people really need to respect what it is that you're doing creating human life and that you know you you do have to slow down and you do need to set boundaries and you do need to speak up for yourself and block the negative talk be in your bubble of peace don't let anyone saying any negativity about pregnancy or birth or, or life after baby or how it'll change your marriage or work life or pumping at work or whatever it just just say you know what we're gonna take it one day at a time we're being positive and I'm keeping the positivity around me because you know the less stress for you is better for you and your baby. Um, and then also the last one, let people help you. Ask for help when you need it. You are not weak if you're asking for help. Delegate some of the things that you used to do. Um, I always am now <laughs> saying to my husband, like, I'm growing a baby. Like, you can, you know, can you help with the dishes? Can you, can you help take the trash out? Or can you do this? Because, um, yeah, you're, you're growing a human, and that's kind of a big job. So, anyway, guys, I'm learning how to be more of an advocate for myself and speak up for myself uh, because I think also women, we tend to be caretakers, take care of other people, do things, go the extra mile. And right now we really need to slow down and focus internally and listen to ourselves and take care of us. Um, it's it's that time. This is the time to be selfish. This is the time to focus on us and and focus on our babies because that's what's ultimately going to have a better pregnancy, a better birth, and a better baby. So, I hope you guys enjoyed our, my little video and my realization of what <laughs> I learned this past week. I love doing these videos each week and um, next week I'm going to be talking to an osteopath talking about so many things about how it can help with flathead and a bunch of cool stuff. So I hope you guys don't miss out. It'll be next Thursday at 1.30. So um, again, so great chatting with y'all. Please stay hot. Please say hi. Let me know where you're from. If you're pregnant, what you're going through. I love talking to you guys and having... Um, you know, conversations in the comments below. So I hope to hear from you soon. But guys, it's Friday. Happy Friday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get lots of rest. And I hope that you are able to advocate for yourself because we all need to work on it. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Have a good one.